So there are some tips and tricks that we can use to make our bot more engaging to our users and more eye-catching. This way you can attract more people to use your bot. Yeah. One of the great ways to do this is by creating some type of opening dialogue, right? So opening dialogue is great because it helps your users understand how to use your bot. And it also gives them some room for you to write any type of dialogue to help start the conversation as well. So there's a few ways that you can use opening dialogue to make sure your user experience is much better. So if you go here, traditionally creating some opening dialogue is pretty easy. You just write here opening text and some opening questions. Yeah, or we can use the AI generate button and the AI will automatically write it for you based on your prompt. Yeah, but today That's... what we'll show you is how to use the markdown editor, which is a new feature. And the Markdown Editor helps you write down your opening dialogue, opening text in Markdown format, which is really powerful because you can customize how this looks even further as well. So let's take a look at some of the features that it has here. We can either insert an image, so it'll basically be like the image of our actual bot and just like an image that represents what our bot is or what it's doing. So if I go here and I select an image, and it would actually add it in Markdown format, right? So I can also go here and insert a link. Again, that will be a Markdown format as well. And I can also insert the username so that any user that's using my bot, if they're logged in, they will receive the username there. So you see that my name popped up. So yeah, we can say something like, hi, username, welcome to our bakery. What would you like today? It's almost like personalizing an email where you can swap out the username field for the name of the actual user. Yeah. And you can also have some opening questions. You could write something like, what is on the menu today? Right? And so forth. These are just typical questions that you envision your users to be asking you about, like typical use cases. Yeah. So if we go back out to our bot and we collapse this window, you'll see in our new conversation that we have with our bot, we have a picture of our bread and then it has my username there and it's just giving us our beginning questions. So you can click here, what's on the menu today? And it will, it'll tell us what's there. Now, another way to customize this even further is to add a background image as well. So if we go here, which is another new feature, we can enhance the bot's presence in the CoSpot store by adding a background image for a more immersive chatting experience. So I'll just drag and drop another image here to change the background. And you'll see that we get some test images of what our chat will look like in the CoSpot store in different formats. And you can also drag and adjust the position of your actual picture, depending on how big it is, right? And you can do the same thing for both of these. And you can display on vertical format and widescreen as well. So if you have a desktop, laptop, or some type of tablet or mobile device, this will switch and be responsive depending on whatever device you're using. So let's click Confirm. And our users will be able to have this background here. Of nice. All of our now it looks... A lot of more delicious. I want to yeah. order now. Okay, so before we publish to the store what else can we enhance maybe we can change the profile photo so let's change our profile photos as well and if we go here to our edit button we can either generate a profile photo with ai or we can upload our own photo as well so let's upload our images of our bread and give it a description this this is a description that your bot users will see in the store, this gives them an idea of what your bot can do. So it's a good idea to clearly and concisely describe what the bot can do for them. So we're just go and click confirm. You see that at the top here, our image has changed and we also have a description now. And we have a custom flare here in the background with all of our bread pictures. Nice, let's publish to the Co's bot store. So we can generate a change log here. All right. Okay, cool. now let's click open in bot store to see what it looks like. So first of all, it looks really nice. It has the background image. It has the greetings that's more personalized. 
we can actually add some recommend conversation. This is for the users to see some ready built chat history when they enter the bot so they can get a sense of what they can talk to the bot about. Yeah. So to do that, we need to first have a few rounds of chat with the bot. So now by then we can go over to our recommended conversations. So you will see a check mark besides each of your question. And then by checking these, you'll be including this back and forth dialogue in the recommended conversation. So here we go. Indulge in our recipes. There's so many different ways. And another cool feature we just launched is uh, if you go up to the share button on the top right corner, we have a share image feature where you can again select a few conversations by checking them. And then there, there you go. There you have a beautiful image that includes your chat history, your QR code that you can share this on your social media so other people can find out about your bot. So we can click download. So if you look at our bot store, um, every day we have a today's pick uh, in a top banner and then we also have a recommended tab. You might be wondering, how do I get my bot to appear in these places? So it, it gets more users and more exposure. So. The way you can do that is by doing all of the things we just talked about. So make sure your bot has a accurate name, it has a good and representative uh, profile photo, a good description, a recommended dialogue, and the uh, opening conversation. And we should see our bot right here in the recents. So our bakery bot is already published and ready to go.